So I did a thing and I came up with a crocheted fidget. It's pretty awesome, I think. My kids have ADHD and anxiety, and it helps relieve them in a soft and cozy way. Another show you shit ain't nothing like me. Yeah. About to catch another fight. Have a bottom make them wanna fight. I just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up. Don't know how to go. If you broke, then you gotta let it go. You can have anybody, any money go. When you boss, you can do what you want. About to catch another fight. Have a bottom make them wanna fight. I just wanna have a good night. I just wanna have a good night. Hold up. Don't know how to go. You got two choices. Yes or yes. Plushies I crocheted for my next restock. Valentine's Day edition. Mushroom bunny. Mini mushroom bunny. Lemon cow. Orange cow. Valentine's cow. Chocolate covered strawberries. Chunky bee. Pink bee. Valentine's bee. Mini bees. Orange creamsicle axolotl. Pink Dino Winnie the Pooh Heart Buddies Chicken Nugget Pickle Fried Egg Peas in a Pod Strawberry Turtle Which one would you pick? Look what I got my grandma! It's a crochet ring. A fucking panic in my body when that motherfucker took it out the bot. <laughs> <laughs>a princess bell doll arms little shoe messed up so i had to frog the whole leg finally attached both legs body coming together stuffing wires the head is so big look how cute the details are everything starting the wig Giving inches, pinning the hair to the head for the perfect placement. Blush time. Shoes, bow, pearl button, headband, can't forget the iconic rose. And voila, she's adorable. Change the size of your crochet toys part 2. Sweet Snuggles.
blanket yarn, sweets snuggles light, parfait chunky, little bunny, baby velvet, worsted weight, decay yarn, new sew patterns by all from Jade. Wait, who are you? A platypus? Parry the platypus! It's pretty rare when I make birds, but the lady that ordered this custom order wanted me to add as much detail to her bird as possible, which unfortunately led me to crochet every single feather on the bird's wings, which I did. After crocheting two wings, I sewed them to the body, and this is the final look. I'm not gonna lie, this was the most tedious plushie I've crocheted in a long time, but it was a fun challenge. Let me know what you would have done instead. <laughs> Plushies I'm bringing to a market tomorrow. Mushy Pop. X10. Chunky Mushroom. X8. El Paso. X4. Birds. X14. Turtles. X12. Whales. X8. Baby Leggy Frogs X16 Leggy Frogs X14 Bees X28 If these ones fell out Rainbow Bees X10 AXOLOTLs X28 So many small plushies X136 the stuffing process of amigurumis is so underrated. Let me share my favorite tips. Number one, wait until you have about 18 stitches left before you start stuffing. Number two, break up the fibers before using it and add small amounts. Number three, fill with your hands and fingers to find gaps or bumps. Number four, shape the piece with your hands. Roll it between your hands and make sure that it's all symmetrical. If you find a spot that is missing some, then just add stuffing right in that spot. Number five, close your eyes and fill with your fingers. You will then find new spaces that need stuffing. Number six, finish your last rounds and add stuffing at the bottom of the piece. Be careful not to overstuff, we don't want to see stuffing through the stitches. Once you're happy with it, close your piece and don't forget to add more stuffing before finishing it. Save this tip for later. I crocheted all these beads and now I'm going to put them together into a beautiful piece of art. As I was doing this, I was like, you know what would be a million dollar idea is if I made these into like Taylor Swifty uh, friendship bracelets or whatever. I could probably make a big old buck off that. But no, here I am crocheting something for my house again. There's an important step that I'm not including in the video, but you can see it in the video. And that is the green wire. That's to help it prevent it from sagging when I hang it up. If you don't know what it is by this point, then you're too young to be here. I'm just kidding. Nobody's too young to be here because I was born in 1995. And although some may consider me a millennial, I heavily relate to the Gen Z. Okay, I'm not almost 30. The time is an illusion. Okay, it's a made up construct. Da -da -da -da. Here she is in all her glory. What a beautiful little lizard. What do we think about me slapping that bad boy up there? Um, I know I gotta chill with the crochet because I can't have too much in here. It's gonna get a little, uh, tacky, to say the least. But what do we think about this here? I charged $3,000 for these, and a lot of people have been asking why. And although I think the question is a little bit disrespectful, I'll answer for people who are genuinely curious. These one-of-a-kind wax monogram masterpieces are vegan, cruelty free. I really got him thinking this was all just fun and games. So caught up in the past, they acting like a bunch of lame.
Mi hermana me dijo que necesitaba una mochila para su día de paseo con su grado. Me dijo que la quería verse diferente a las demás, así que decidí tejerla yo misma. ¿Tú crees que le guste? Visita mi perfil si tú también quieres aprender crochet desde cero. Crochet a pig with me. Learn Deutsch. If you want to get into amigurumi or crochet plushie making, here is everything you need to get started. Firstly, you'll need yarn. You can use any yarn type that you would like, but if you want to make plushies like mine, then you can use Premier Parfait Chunky or Hobby Honey Bunny. I also have my own yarn brand coming out in two months, so keep an eye out for that. Secondly, you'll need crochet hooks. I recommend a four to five millimeter hook if you are using plush yarn. You can find them anywhere at Spotlight or online. I recommend just going for the cheapest option in case you're not sure if you want to commit yet. You'll need darning needles. You can find these at any craft store or online for a couple of dollars. I recommend getting the plastic ones just because they are a little bit safer and you can get them in different sizes as well. Next, you'll need stitch markers. You can also find these at the same places as the darning needles for the same price usually. I recommend using these plastic stitch markers. I started out using a safety pin, which wasn't great. The amigurumi specific things you'll need are plastic safety eyes, which will come with the backs. You can get them at Spotlight or online at eBay or Amazon. And you will need polyester filling. You can also get these at Spotlight or online. And lastly, you will need some online resources to learn how to crochet. I'll show you a couple of ones that I use to get started. So I used this crochet chick tutorial on YouTube from Willow Art Studio. And I watched this Five Must Know Beginner Skills by the Mary J over and over again while I was learning how to do the chick. I'd also encourage beginners to make a Ribbler account. You can find a lot of free patterns on there too. And that is everything you need to get started with Amigurumi. <laughs> Estava andando em cima do asfalto Foi pra uma lagoa e encontrou um sapo Depois ele viu o mano e percebeu Que quando ele pisou no sapo, o sapo morreu Ele correu muito pra não ser pisado Depois aí ele encontrou um cavalo Ele correu tanto que até encontrou um sapo Ele bicho o sapo Son solo de exhibición o están a la venta? No, pues son para vender, mira. Pues a poco iban a nosotros traer cargando ahí nada más en balde. <risa> Vean a ustedes. Está bonito, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto costaba esa pieza? 200 macizos, patrón. Y aprovechele porque de esto no hay diario. Para mañana van a subir. <risa>